Hello, Flated friends and family and fellow roadies. Ken Hovey with Flated. And for this episode of our road trip adventures, I'm gonna take you to one of my favorite places to go fly fishing. I'm not gonna tell you exactly where it is. It is on public lands. It's about an hour and a half hike from where I'm located, uh, about two miles through some pretty rugged terrain on the way down there. So we're gonna be doing some truck bed camping tonight. Wake up right next to the lake, gonna cook dinner right now and get a good night's sleep. And then tomorrow morning breakfast, and then we are off. This is my own little hack for cooking pre-made meals from the grocery store. These salmon come in these little tins. Another good hack if you didn't bring ice, beers in a cold mountain lake. Cheers. Always want to make sure in a place like this you take out all your trash. I keep a trash bag hanging off of one of the D-rings that we use for the window. Keep it clean. Couple more minutes. Let's eat. Got done eating and decided to go to bed, but it is absolutely pouring outside. And one of the big questions we get is how dry is it when it's raining? Here's a look. There's the rails, the inside. Here's the other side. And you can hear the rain coming down. Listen. So wet outside, but so dry in here, it's nice. Check this out. Wake it up about 7 a.m. and there is a moose right outside where I'm sleeping. Time for breakfast, gonna be a big day. Cooking up some bacon, some eggs, and croissants, and a cooler. And this is the new Yeti Roadie 15. It's a smaller version of like their Tundra size, and it fits perfectly in my truck. I am just about to hike in to go fishing. And right there is a mother bear and her cub hiking in the direction I'm going. We'll let them get a head start, but look at these guys. We are about 45 minutes in and 0.82 miles according to Onyx Hunt. That's something I'll show you in a bit. It's an app that helps track you, but we go from pretty much open where you can see into what I'm calling dark territory down through these trees. We've dropped probably about 200 feet in elevation and through these woods, we're gonna drop several hundred more in a very short distance. Try to give you an idea on how steep it is. Looking back up the trail. So stoked. A little over an hour in. And like I said, I didn't know if there'd be too much water in this section. It is perfect. Look at this. Welcome to Fly Fishing Shangri-La.
Saw so one come up right by that rock. Got him. Got him. Just another little guy, though. important to wet your hands before you touch fish so that you don't touch them with dry hands. All right, thought he was eating a little bug there. Where did that guy go? Later, bud. Weather is nice right now, but it is about to change. Oh, here comes the rain. Typical Colorado. It's sunny and raining at the same time. All right, time to hike out now. We're only halfway there, meaning we arrived here. Now we got to hike back and we're going up that hillside. And although I know the route, it can get a little tricky at times. And I mentioned earlier an app I use frequently. A lot of people use it. It's called Onyx Hunt and you can track yourself. You can find out where private land is where public land and it helps in moments like this in that it can actually pinpoint exactly where you are so that you can simply backtrack your trail in order to find your way back pretty cool i definitely recommend getting this it's only a few bucks a month and definitely worth it but i know where we're going here climb back up that ridge line and then back should take us about an hour maybe a little more that is bear shit. I'm telling you, the bears are here. <laughs> so is the bear spray. I hope I don't run into one. You can see how many animals use these. I think that's an elk. This is like a super highway down into this drainage. More bear shit. <sighs> Even more. Almost back to the truck. I put my rain jacket on, but this rain feels so good. It's nice and cool. It's making everything super lush. Also, our fire danger has been high here, so the more rain we get, the better to keep the fire danger down. Made it back to the truck. It just stopped raining maybe 20 minutes ago, but opened up the back. It was pouring at my truck as well. And everything is dry. All my sleeping stuff, you can see the rails, nothing. Well, it was a lot of work for not a whole lot of fish, just a couple small ones, but the adventure was worth it. And I always try to keep them interesting. So if you like these videos, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to warm up and try to plan my next adventure. Thanks for joining us, Flated Roadies. We'll see you out there.